Hey, I'm back again, Oscar, and this is episode 16 of Java Game Development, in which I'll be creating a simple side-scroller game. Now, basically what a side-scroller is, is it's a game where you can scroll along the x-axis to see different parts of a world. For example, Terraria is a side-scroller. Now, in this lesson, I'm going to achieve this effect using GL push matrix, GL pop matrix, and GL translate methods. What I've done here is basically taken the simple OpenGL renderer code and modify it in a few ways. The basic rendering for the quadriliteral and the lines stays the same. However, I have added a variable called translate x before the main render loop and in the main render loop I've ha added a GL translate f method which translates translate x on the x axis if that makes any sense. So it pushes the screen to the left or the right depending on translate x. So for example if translate x were 0 it stays the same. However if translate x was to be 10 everything would be shifted to the right. Get that? Good. Now let's continue with the moving of the screen. So I'm just going to run this right now and as you see if I press the spacebar the objects shift. And this is done using the translate x call or variable and also with this condition here. So if keyboard is key down keyboard sp key space so if I'm pressing the spacebar and mouse.getx is larger than 0 and mouse.getx is smaller than 693 which is the height or the width of the window minus 1 translate x is plus mouse.getdx so the dynamic x movement of the mouse this is very important the mouse.getx is smaller than 693 because if you omit this, I'll show what happens. Oh, now it seems to work. But if you omit this, under normal circumstances, the mouse would flip out and go all over the place. You can try it out yourself. Now, I'm also going to cover a bit of input using, well, the true coordinates of the mouse because if I, let me just print the mouse coordinates like this so now this is x0, y0 and this is 640x and 480y but usually when I would use the mouse.getx and mouse.getdy functions when I would scroll to the left this would still be 0x and 0y. However, if you look in the bottom left corner of the eclipse window, you can see that it has actually shifted. And that's because I have created a new variable called mouse x, which retrieves the mouse x variable, which would be or yeah, from the mouse look at x method. And it retrieves that and does that minus translate x. So it transforms the mouse x depending on the translate x. The second one, the mouse y, is just fine. It's normal because we're not doing any translation on the x axis. Note I've also put GL push matrix and GL pop matrix calls. Basically, what GL push matrix does is it puts another or it saves the current set of configurations to somewhere safe it clones that set of configurations for you to mess around and when you're done messing around you can call GL pop matrix which disposes of your messing around and restores the previous state so you can use these as a substitute for GL load identity calls for example Now this is pretty much it. I challenge you if you want some more if you want an exercise to create 
translation along the Y axis as well. This was Oscar from the Conan Universe, and bye.